The multi rifts feature in Band in a Box 2022 for Windows is a complete redesign of the multi rifts feature previously added in older versions of Band in a Box. The previous multi rifts would allow you to take a single reel track and create seven different versions of that same track, kind of taking over the entire mixer. And you could then comp together one part drawing from all those tracks, either on a utility track or in another DAW. Useful in its way, but the new multi riffs feature is a supercharged version of that, to the point where it's really a brand new feature. Easier, more fun to use, and that's what I'm going to show you here. Uh, first of all, I, I, when I started the video, I was playing this uh, jazz swing with piano and Freddie guitar. So that is uh, just a um, just a rhythm section, and I'd like to add a saxophone soloist to this. Um, but I, I don't want to just have it generate the whole thing. I want to just kind of do it from sort of start to finish. So I want to, for example, try out a particular sax phrase over the first four bars. If I like it, great. If I don't, I want to try a different one. And I want to just sort of be able to toggle through a bunch of different options for that uh, until I find one I like and then, you know, then I'll move on to the next four bars, uh, etc., all the way to the end. So that's that's what we can do with this feature. So first of all, I have to actually select uh, that real track and put it on a track. And I've got this empty melody track here. So I'm going to go in and I'm actually going to I can could just pick a real track uh, in the usual manner, but I'm going to go in the track settings and actions dialog. This is also a new feature, one that I really like uh, because it's kind of a, a one stop shop for uh, all things to do with any of the tracks, the, the original style tracks or any of the utility tracks. You can add real tracks, real drums, MIDI tracks, loops, whatever you want here. Um, you can do other things. You can, you can freeze some tracks in here or unfreeze, enable or disable tracks, normal time, double time, half time. Uh, this I particularly like that you can change the description of tracks. Um, for example, here, like if, if, if I was going to record a vocal on this track, I could put vocal part one. Oops, I didn't mean to uh, exit out of there. But there you see there the um, uh, there vocal part one. It wrote that in there. And I'll just delete it and update there. Now it's gone. Um, and so you can do that with a bunch of tracks if you want to change the description of, of a bunch of tracks, whereas previously you had to like right click and go through a, a sub menu to be able to change the, the description that's in there. So lots of cool stuff in this track settings dialog. Uh, that being said, what I want to do right now with it is just pick a real track. So you can click here to just open up a real, the best real tracks dialog, or you can access all of the other different options from within here. Uh, so I'm going to go use a, a recently chosen favorite. Uh, this is, I was recently using this, this tenor sax right here. So I'll pick that. This is actually one of the very first real tracks that we ever recorded for Band in a Box. So this will be a cool one to try out here. And so it's now, it has now put it on this track here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go regenerate partial track. This is basically the multi riffs feature right here. So if I click here, that opens this dialog. And this is sort of the home base for this multi riffs feature. Um, I can do everything I want to in this whole song without even leaving this dialog, including listening to and sampling all the different parts. Uh, so yeah, so this is, uh, this is, um, and I'll do that here. So I'll, I'll just show you a few elements of this dialogue first before I get started. This is the main track right here, and you can actually switch to any other tracks and do it on any other tracks you want right from within here. This is the main, main real track is the main real track within here, but you can also pick alternate real tracks. Um, so uh, yeah, I, I haven't actually tried that yet, but maybe I'll try that near the end of this. Maybe I'll, I'll do something else. I'll put a trumpet at the end or something like that. Uh, maybe for the last eight bars, I'll, I'll put a trumpet in instead. So uh, that being said, um, the range to generate. This is the thing too, that if you, if you don't want to have it generate the whole thing, you just want to do it like say four bars at a time, you could just go bar one and the number of bars to generate is, is going to be four bars. So it'll generate over bars one, two, three, four, 
and uh, and I can try a whole bunch of different options there. Pick one I like, then move on to the next ones. Range is similar, but you can be we can more fine tune it um, uh, using using beats and ticks as well. Whereas the bars is just uh, the start and end of bars. That being said, it's uh, that doesn't necessarily mean it's just just going to cram it into the the bars. You'll still be getting musical phrases. Um, so it won't necessarily start right at the beginning of bar one. There might be, um, uh, you know, might be a, a beat of silence first and starts at beat two or whatever. It'll it'll be musical stuff that it picks. Generate an extra beat just means it'll go a little bit longer afterwards. Allow for a few extra notes, but I'll leave it just at this default setting here. Um, and overwrite, replace existing. That is what I want to do here because I don't want the same sax to be, I don't want to be hearing the same sax, like two different versions of it at once. I want to just hear a sax solo throughout. Um, and now this area here, regenerate portion of track, uh, I'll be getting to this um, momentarily. Um, so I've, I've got bar one selected, number of bars is four, so I'm, I'm actually ready to go here. Just before I get started, we haven't actually generated a sax track. If, if there was already a sax track generated here, uh, that would remain and we would just then be using this feature to overwrite if we wanted to and or not if we didn't want to. Whatever is there right now is considered to be riff one. So uh, there is nothing there. So riff one is basically silence. But if I press generate now, uh, and before I do, I'll just mention the play controls. You can you can play and, and generate and stop right from within this dialogue. So like I said before, you can do everything uh, everything you want to for the whole song without even leaving this dialogue. But autoplay here is the thing that I particularly like because when I generate a track, uh, when I generate a riff over these four bars, it's going to play it for me immediately. So I'll press that right now, generate new. So that already was sounding sounding really nice to me. Um, now that's now it's showing here because I generated a new one before it said riff one of one. Uh, now this is riff two of two. So now there are two options to choose from. The first being silence. So if I press previous, it'll go to riff one of two. And if I play that now, It's silence, but if I go next, now it's this. This is the one that it just created for me. Yeah, and uh, you know what? I really like that, so I'm almost tempted to just continue. But I'm gonna just just generate some more. So I'll generate uh, another completely different option here. So you can see it's it's given me, now I have six different options with the first one being the silence. So basically five different options and I could keep going, uh, but um, let me just, I'm going to go back to the, the first one that I generated. So riff two, I'm going to listen to that again. And so far I'm leaning towards this one. Like I really liked it when I first heard it. So. I think I'm going to just, I'm going to write a memo in here and say fave right now because that one is my current fave, but I want it before I totally pick it, I want to listen to a couple others. Now I can press play again and then just keep going previous and next. And every time I press previous and next, it'll go back to the beginning of this section. So it'll be, uh, but it, it'll just be a continuous thing. So I can listen to all of them and, and see what it's, what it's like there. You know what? I like this one too. I'm going to call this fave two. 
Now I'm just, so now if I go back to this one, that was my favorite, and then this one was fave two. So uh, I'm just gonna play this once more and just, just go sort of, just listen to those two back to back and see which one I like better. Okay, now I'm just getting picky. You know what? I think I like this one the best. The very first one it generated. So now I'm just going to go accept. So that now is, uh, it has put that in there. And um, yeah, and so now I can go on to the next, uh, I'll do the next four bars here. So I'm going to change this to bar five. Um, and now I'm going to start generating a few riffs for starting at bar five. And the great thing too is it's going to start me a bar before, so I'll be able to hear the last little bit of this so I can hear how well it blends into the next riff. So um, yeah, so I'll generate a riff now and let's see that. All right, so I wrote really good because I actually I already like that one too. It's, uh, it's doing too good a job. Uh, it's giving me like a really good one right off the bat. So. I'm going to press generate new to listen to another one and maybe I'll do a few others and see but that was that sounded really nice there. Yeah, I like that. Nice, subtle, tasteful. Yeah, that was great. Um, okay, cool. So I'm gonna set, uh, click accept then. And uh, yeah, I'll keep going. I liked where it went there. You know what? I'm just going to accept that. I'm not going to go back and listen. And now, but you know what? I like those two, those two beats. I'm just going to try instead of instead of going to the next four bars. I'm going to try it at bar 11, and still I'll still do two bars. So it'll, now it'll go 11, 12, 13, and 14. But I'll see. Uh, I'll see what it comes up with there. You know what? I really like that too. So I'm not going to generate more in it there. I'm just going to accept that. That was really cool too. I like that. Um, yeah, and you know what? I'm I'm now I've I've kind of gone off the grid a little bit, which is perfectly fine. Uh, I'll I'll try one now at bar 15. And that last one again. I could go previous and next, uh, previous and next to check out the other ones, but I think I'm going to accept that too for 15 and 16. But I will start generating now. I'll, <laughs> I'll kind of get back onto the the four bar grid here by go by just doing bar 17 there. So um, yeah, so I kind of those two I kind of did them in two bar chunks more or less. I was still generating a full four bars, but I kind of picked a two bar chunk there and a two bar chunk there. And that worked really well, I thought. So, uh, but now I'm at bar 17 and I'll continue on from there.
you know what? I, I don't have to listen to more of that one either. I'm going to accept that there. And now bar 21. Let's see. <laughs> I think I will try this one again. I'm just going to make a note here. I like this. Uh, but I'll generate another one. I'll generate a couple more just to, to hear uh, and see. But I'll remember then when I, when I scroll back to Riff 3, it'll show me this memo and I'll be like, oh yeah, yeah, I did like that one. You know what? I changed my mind. I like that one. Yeah, I'm going to accept that. Okay, so I've done 24 bars now. And uh, I'm thinking, well, okay, what if the trumpet takes, what if a trumpet takes over here? So um, I haven't actually tried this yet. So I'm going to pick alternate real track. And I'm going to go trumpet. And I'll just pick jazz swing 140 trumpet here. So I'm now picking alternate, so this is the real track to use. If I go main real track, it switches to, you can go back to the main one, but I've now, I've got this alternate one here that is is what's gonna be used here. So, um, bar 25. Now let's see how this goes. Generate now. <laughs> That was very nice. That that sounds good to me. I'm going to accept that. And now I'll just do the last four with that trumpet again. 29, generate now. And I like, I like that too. You know what? I don't think I need to generate it, uh, any more of that. I am going to accept that as well. So uh, let's just listen, uh, listen from start to finish there. So I want to try one last little thing here. Um, I've gone back into the track settings dialog and gone back to regenerate partial track. Um, and uh, I think I'm going to try now just generating the main real track again. So it's back to real track to use as the main real track again. And I'm going to start it at bar at bar 29 here. Uh, but this time I'm going to go, I'm not going to overwrite the existing. 
I'm gonna see what happens if I take that check off there and generate a part now. So I'm going to accept that. So it's it's just for the very last four bars, you got a bit of a little bit of a Dixieland kind of vibe. I know it's not really a Dixieland uh, style here, but you got a little bit of that with a with a couple instruments soloing, and then maybe the sax can can continue on here uh, 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 when the, when the when it repeats to the next chorus here. So chorus two, I'll go bar one, and I will generate that now as well. So there you go. That is a, a bit of an introduction to the, the new and improved multi-riffs feature. Uh, it's a lot of fun to use and I hope you enjoy it.